Hi all. So today we reach uh, the week three of the Python course where we are going to learn the data structures in Python. Okay. So as the name suggests, like what uh, it seems like the data structure we are uh, talking about the structure of data, how the data is structured. Okay. So uh, we have basically four types: list, tuple, set, and dictionary, and we are going to practically understand how we are going to work with them. Okay. So uh, we have already learned what is a numeric data type, right? Where we can store the integer and float type of uh, data, and uh, we have learned the boolean type where we can store the yes or no or the true or false values. Okay, and we have a string data type as well, uh, where we can store the uh, numeric and all. So here, uh, sorry, uh, the characters. Okay, and uh, and we have uh, apart from that, we have a sequence data type as well. sequence data type is means like when we uh, have a requirement of storing the multiple uh, items in a one single variable there it called the sequence data type sequentially when we wanted to uh, store it so there comes into the picture of uh, list and tuple so these are the data, data structure we are we are uh, where we are able to store the multiple items in a variable okay so let me take you to the um, my pycharm interpreter and where we can show you so i have created one uh, uh, file here okay data structure py 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 as we know is the extension of python file so you can see here we have uh, list tuple set and dictionary as the sequence data types so first we are going to understand the list okay and we will do some practical uh, uh, things as well so uh, in list uh, list we can say it's a kind of a array where we have a ordered collection of items we can have a duplicate data here as well in the list but this is the properties is like uh, the very important property of list is that it is a mutable that means we can add delete and insert the new records or new items in the list it is completely be completely changeable mutants means changeable okay whereas tuple is also doing the same thing but the difference between list and tuple is that the tuple is immutable that once the tuple has been created to store the multiple items okay sequence wise but you are not going to uh, you don't have that feasibility to change any item in the tuple you cannot insert it you cannot delete it okay so whenever if you try to add a new uh, uh, item in the tuple it, it is going to create a new object of the tuple or it is going to create a new tuple okay so uh, leave the tuple behind let's uh, let's focus on list first so very first thing is how we can declare it okay all those things we are going to work with the list tuple set and dictionary all of it okay so these are the things that we are going to do so how we can declare it first so we have to create one uh, variable let uh, give the name variable as lst and we have to pass the values like this inside the square bracket so this is ki kind of a list we have uh, declared so this is the declaration and if you wanted to print it we have inbuilt function print if you try to run it you can see 2 3 4 5 6 7 this is a list of integer array so this is integer but it's not like that that we can store only the same data type of the items in the list no we can change we can have characters we can have string we can have uh, floating numbers as well in the list you can see here if i change it here and it is and it has changed here okay and it is allowing me to uh, display integer character uh, string and floating type okay now uh, how to get the length okay to get the length if you wanted to see what is the length of uh, lst so there is a function len so this is an inbuilt function you have to enclose your list inside this function you have to pass the um, list variable inside the L len function and if you wanted to see what is the length you have to enclose it inside the print function because you wanted to print it so if you execute it you can see the five so 1 2 3 4 5 so we have a five items in the list okay if you wanted to see the data type of this lst variable okay for that we have a type function okay so if you wanted to see the type what is the type of this lst variable where i have stored this array of uh, different data type items so you can see the class lst this lst variable is nothing but it belongs to the class lst uh sorry list okay now if you wanted to see how we can access the items in order to access the items if if i wanted to access this uh, name here so as we know it is a sequence data type sequence means all these items is uh, stored sequence wise or in indexed uh, on particular in, uh, so lst uh, i mean list start from the index 0 that means number 2 data is stored in the lst 0th index number 3 stored in lst 1th index this 
data on that data is stored in the lst third so like so on okay so list is indexed collection of items we can say and it start from zero to end of item so if you wanted to make changes or if you wanted to access item let's suppose we said like i wanted to access this third element okay to access the third element it is stored in the second index okay so this is I, either I can keep it in one variable and then I, I can print this variable or I can directly print this LST. So you can see here it printed L name, okay, the third element of the list item to change the item. If you wanted to change the item, let's suppose if I wanted to change this uh, uh, value, okay, name with second name, let's suppose I wanted to make it as like this, okay, I wanted to make changes here and now after making changes, I wanted to display my list. So you can see what I did is in second index, I put the value Rajput where in second list, I already have this value. So that means I'm trying to change the item. So as I already told that list is mutable, mutable means it is going to change. Okay. It is changeable. So if you execute it, you can see instead of Mamta, now it is coming to three Rajput, 7.5.4 uh, and seven. So this is changeable. Okay. To append item. Okay, what is uh, append is if you wanted to add one more item inside this list. So how you can do it append is a inbuilt function where you can add an item to the end of the list. Okay, append always add an item to the end of the list. So for that, what you need to do is you need to mention this. Uh, let me do set append and you have to give the value which you wanted to append. Let's suppose I wanted to add a value 8. Okay, now I'm trying to print this list to see whether this number 8 is going to append is already appended or not. So you can see here 2, 3, 5.4, 7 and 8. As we use the append is always uh, added the items at the end of the list. Okay. And then what we need to next is how we can remove the items. So remove is basically there is a remove function by which we can remove. Let's suppose we have appended okay and we i now i wanted to remove this value as well so if you know that the value i wanted to remove you have to mention the value name here okay you do not need to mention the index so we can remove the data items in the in the list using the value or we can specify the value either we can specify the value or we can specify the index so remove function usually take the value okay and there is one more fun, uh, thing um, pop so pop is another method or another uh, inbuilt function where we have to uh, remove the data items uh, using the index okay but remove function is basically used to remove the value i mean uh, by passing the value specified value okay so if i after removing if i wanted to print so what it will do it will append the value and print it then we remove this value and then print it let's see see here so it has appended first and then remove it okay so we have to specify let's suppose if i mention minus one see this is the value is not in the list so it is minus one i try to remove this the last index but it is not taking minus one as an index it is taking minus one as a data item so you i think it's clear remove uh, function always take the value in the parenthesis okay whereas the pop function if i use the pop okay and I try to execute, this will work. Minus in one is the negative indexing. That means if you wanted to access item from the back end, you can use the negative indexing. If you wanted to access the items from the front end, that means from left to right, then you can use the positive indexing. Okay. Let's, uh, I'm using a pop function here instead of remove to remove the last index value. Whatever the next, if you, let's suppose you don't know what is the last item, but you wanted to remove it. So what you can do it through the index you can see now minus one this is working in the pop okay and uh, apart from that how we can access the items or if you want to iterate loop through so list is iterable object you know what is iterable iterable is basically it's a collection uh, where you have a list of items and you wanted to traverse through each of the item inside the list so that is called the iterable so list tuple that dictionary all of it are iterable objects okay of the like uh, list is the iterable object of the list class tuple is the iterable object of the tuple class so like that
So how we can tra traverse through the items is like for uh, using for, for i in lst. So we wanted to print, let's say. Or I'll do one thing just to make sure we'll get more clarity how we can traverse is let me uh, let me declare an integer only array uh, sorry okay to let's suppose uh, bracket one comma two comma three okay and uh, this is a list which i have declared and i wanted to traverse through this uh, list okay and wanted to display the output like uh, i wanted to add one more items uh, one more value increment the data with one by one so output should be two comma three comma four so i wanted number one uh, to be added in each of the items for that what i need to do i need to first traverse it through each of the item and then for in each of the item i need to add one so for i in lst so this is how we will call the loop so for each of the item in lst what i need to do is lst index comma lst i plus one so i wanted to add one more item one more value in each of the item so once this is done i wanted to come out of the loop so how we can come out of the loop if i hit enter so this time i am inside the loop because you know the concept of indenting right so if you wanted to come out of the loop you have to press backspace and come here the very starting and now print LST. So what I have done here, I hope you understood is, the requirement is I wanted to add one more items. Uh, I wanted to increment this value by one. So the input is one comma, two comma three, output should be two comma three comma four, like that. So if I execute it, index is out of range. LST I, just a second. So this index uh, LST is, wait a second, if I execute this, let's say what is going to happen, 1 comma 3 comma 3, why this 3, 3 plus 1, okay, 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Okay, so here we are getting index out of the range, uh, why we are getting this error, I... I am telling you what is the reason behind it is like if you see here what will happen the first iteration it is coming as a one okay so in for one the value is one and then for two its value it's will two plus one is equal to three and the next is three plus four so it is coming out because here uh, you can see the three value uh, the length is only three but I'm trying to fill uh, the last iteration it, it's uh, going to fail because the value would be four so what we can do so instead of LST what we need to do we need to give the length I mean total count we need to provide not the LST we need to uh, give the length of this okay we need to pass the range of the uh, list so for that this is the length and we need to pass the range so if I pass range okay so what will happen i am giving a range like uh, for i in this range and what is the range range is length if you see what is the length here okay it is a 3 so for i it will iterate only for 3 times so if i try to execute now okay so you can see 2 2 3 2 3 3 and 2 3 4 so this is what we wanted okay in the first iteration the data would be 2 2 3 and the second iteration what will happen 2 3 and 3 so these two values change in the third iteration the third value got changed why three times this is executed because i have uh, execute this print inside the for loop okay if i wanted to come out of the loop i wanted to show you for each of the iteration what is the output this is the first out uh, it this is the output of the first iteration this is the output of the second iteration and this is the output of the third iteration so this time loop executed only three times if i wanted to execute the final output i have to uh, take this print out outside the scope of the for loop so if i execute now this is the final output this is what we were expecting right we wanted to increment the data items by one value in the list so this is how we can increment and this is how we can use the for each for loop okay and then we have some kind of uh, built-in functions also in uh, list so like uh, join join list okay how we can join the list let's suppose we have this list okay let me execute or uh, let me remove 
or comment this i have a i let me create two list one is this and let me create lst2 and this is a kind of a, let me make it like a character okay so you can see i have two list here integer array list and character array list and i wanted to join it okay so the first thing is how we can join is simply using a concatenation or concat using a plus operator so that also work here why it works here because this is a sequential collection of the data items so there is not a problem here and it allows us to join the two list using this if i have put lst1 plus lst2 so that means first elements of lst1 display and then the abc will display if i do it like this uh, lst2 plus lst1 so because this is a sequence right so that's why i wanted to show you see here first abc will display and then 1 2 3 4. because the sequence wise data is stored in the um, in the list okay what all other options using the loop okay we can uh, we can join to list using the loop as well so this is the first uh, option let me comment this out if i wanted to join this to list using the loop so what we can do for x for i in lst1 okay uh, let me use a loop for each of the item what i'm going to do lst2 dot append so i am appending all of this value in lst2 and if i wanted to execute lst2 let me execute it you can see here what will happen for loop we have used the for loop and we have loop for 1 2 and 3 so for each of the item what will happen in lst2 i wanted to append 1 2 3 and i have already told that append will help you to add the item in the list in the last index okay in the last so abc will display it as it is and then one comma uh, one two and three if you wanted to add to list without creation of third list then you can use the for loop okay because in the previous scenario we have to create a one more list okay so if you don't want to do that you can use the for loop to append uh, one list into the another list and you can generate you can join the two list so this is the second option and i believe there is one more option that is extend method using the extend method you can join two list okay how you can do it so for that is it's a simple only if you wanted to extend let's suppose we have lst1 and we have lst2 right i wanted to extend lst1 that means i wanted these values to be appended in lst1 so for that i wanted to extend my lst1 how i can do it so one that i have to simple call this method as extend and i have to pass this lst2 and if I wanted to display this LST1 now, so you can see here what will happen. LST1 is been extended with the data items present in LST2. If I execute it, you can see here 1, 2, 3 and then A, B, C. Okay. Similar way, it could be reversed. If I wanted to extend my LST2 with the items of LST1, if I try to print LST2, so what will happen? A, B, C and then A, 1, 2, 3 will be appended at the end of the lst2 you can see a b c and then one two three it got extended so we have seen three options three ways by which we can join the L, uh, list first is using the simple uh, plus operator second is using the append method and for for loop and third is extend method so these are the way by which so it depends on your requirement whatever is the best possible you can use it to join the loop okay and then coming the reverse of the list okay uh, remove i have already told you reverse the order of the list okay how you can reverse the order of list so here this is also a built-in function if you wanted to reverse it like uh, let's say lst2 is already displayed here i wanted to reverse the uh, order of this lst2 so what you can do is just you have to use the uh, reverse nothing and all uh, nothing uh, you have to pass it here lst2 again i wanted to display so you can see here okay lst2 oh sorry i have commented this okay let me remove this and see here a b c 1 2 3 and here when i reverse it it reverse all the items 3 2 1 c b a so this is how we can reverse it since we have discussed so much about the lst now let's go and do some exercise on the lst okay so we have a very for this is for the beginner so the this is a 
uh, site where you can learn for the uh, some of the exercise so you can see what is the question here print the second item in the fruit list so you know that list is the indexed collection so items are stored on the basis of uh, index so apple is stored in zero and banana is one and cherry is two so uh, in order to display the second item what we need to do is we have to do it like this second item is stored in the first first index okay you have to submit and this answer is correct now next question let me do change the value from apple to kiwi apple is in zero index and i wanted to change it into a kiwi so we have to do it zeroth index and we wanted to change it to kiwi okay so this is how we can change the value of uh, we can replace the value okay this is also correct second is use the append method to add orange to the fruit list okay so we have already three uh, fruits here i wanted to append orange so orange will be added in the list at the end so this is uh, make sure that you use the small a because uh, python is a case sensitive and all you have to do it you have to just put orange here so this will add orange in the fruit list this is also correct next question use the insert method to add lemon in the as a second item in the fruit list okay insert method okay insert is also one of the uh, what you call uh, built in method where you wanted uh, where you have to add the item in the specific specified uh, index okay so in that case what you need to do is root dot insert and i wanted to insert as a second item second item means first index okay wait what happened dot insert this is oh sorry this is not a bracket okay this is a inbuilt function and it it uh, it asks for the two parameters okay so here instead of uh, bracket we have to put this um, opening bracket okay instead of uh, square bracket so this is i wanted to add the lemon in the first location or first index so this is fine now coming to use the remove method to remove banana from the fruit list okay you wanted to remove the banana okay i have told you that uh, remove method uses the value specified value okay and pop up uh, uses the index so you have to specify the value here so this is correct next is use the negative index to print the last item in the list so as you say as you know that uh, index start from zero index and the last one is a minus one so if you wanted to traverse the item from the back so cherry is stored in the minus one index so negative index to print the last item so in that case what you need to do is you have to use minus one so it will display the cherry okay next use the range of indexes to provide the third fourth and fifth item in the list okay this is something i think i have not covered here let me i i forgot so see uh, range is basically used to uh, if you wanted to traverse the items but if you wanted to uh, give or slice slice the uh, we can say the slicing of uh, this list can be done by the range function okay so if we have this lst as of now it's a 3 to 1 cba i wanted to uh give uh, what you call uh, the range okay so i wanted to slice it so i wanted to slice it like say lst range i have to provide like uh, i wanted to slice it from second index to i wanted to display till 4 okay so this way so 0 1 2 3 okay and i wanted to display this lst chip something is it's not slicing is just a second so here you can see use the range of indexes to print so we have to provide the range okay uh, indexes to print the third fourth and fifth item so third means second it start with the second index fourth and fifth so we have to go it from to index to fifth index okay so this is how we have to uh, slice the 
uh, what do you call art list so if i provide this here so if you see uh, lst2 okay i was using range range is a different uh, function but we have to only provide the range of the indexes here so i wanted to display let's suppose 1 and c so 1 and c one start with the index 2 it's stored in the index 2 and i wanted till 4 why 4 because 4th is in third index but its position is 4 so if you execute it you will get 1 and c this is how we can slice it if you wanted to display till uh, uh, what you call it, till end of the uh, from uh, first till end of the uh, list then we have to not give any value after this column and then it will display entire from one to last if i wanted to display from starting till uh, let's suppose c so what you need to do you do not need to give any value in the starting and you have to give the value uh, of the C. I mean uh, value of the C is it's in which position. So 0, 1, 2, 3. It's in third position. So let me put this value 3. Okay. If I try to execute you can see 3, 2, 1. Okay. The third one is not displayed. If you wanted to display C as well. So you have to provide value 4. So it will display from starting till C. So this is how we can provide it. If you wanted to skip some values. Let's suppose from 0th index uh, till uh, uh, 4, 5, 6, okay, till 6, I wanted to skip uh, alternate values, I wanted to display alternate values, right, so for that you have to give the third parameter which is optional, which is called kind of a skipping the uh, letters or skipping the data items, so if you do this, you can see here, it displays 3 first, then it skips the second value, it displays 1, then it skips the C, and then it displays P, so you can see this is the final output, this is our input, okay, and when I say that give me the slice this list okay and uh, by two value i mean by skipping one alternate values okay slice it so what this is the output so this is how uh, slicing will work so which is not uh, uh, it's got kept uh, so i think that's that's a good part in doing exercise next question is i believe this is the last use the correct syntax to print the number of items in the list number of items okay i mean that means total number of so we have to give the length of it this is correct so all of the questions has been done so i believe uh, you enjoy the list tutorials today and uh, i will again come up come up with the tuple one okay till the time go go through i mean uh, all the online python list uh, question and answers and just do the exercise so that uh, you will get more confidence on it thank you and have a nice day